you love reading books for children? Well, here is a great book on the rites of passage from being a boy or girl into becoming a man or woman. The book is called The Test of the Tribal Challenge by Shel Anson in the Rugendo Rhino series. Mato, Dean, Dave, Jonah and Kamau are the members of the Rugendo Rhinos Club. They all live in Rugendo, a mission station in Kenya. Mato is a club captain, Dave the treasurer and Dean the secretary. The five boys, age mates, are from different backgrounds and have to live together having found themselves in a similar environment. Mato, Jonah and Kamau are Kenyan while Dave and Dean are Americans. Every boy's dream is to become a man and every girl's dream is to become a woman. One of the main characters, a young boy called Dean, uh, is challenged by his parents to complete 12 tasks between his 12th and his 13th birthday to sort of form a rite of passage, what it's like to go from being a, a boy to being a man. And it's based on some, uh, some um, various communities ar around where I grew up, that's both Maasai and Kikuyu, things that were done in, in traditional culture to allow a young man to become a man. Different cultures practice different rites of passage. As it approaches year-end, Kamau is overwhelmed by the fact that he's soon going to be a man. For Kamau and Mato's Kikuyu tribe in Kenya, becoming a man means getting circumcised after a soaking, freezing river water at dawn. This is when a boy reaches the age of around 12 years. Kamau's conversation with his club members reveals that American boys are circumcised in hospital when they are born, an issue that gets Kamau puzzled. Then how do you become a man? Kamau was going to be circumcised at the end of the year with his age mates. For Owino's Lua tribe, it's the pulling out of six lower teeth. Din later tells his father about the conversation he had with Kamau and how he now wants to know how and when American boys become men. This got Dean's father thinking. However, Dean's turn to become a man would provide the greatest adventure. During Dean's 12th birthday celebration, his father presents him a well-wrapped package containing a photo album. The first page of it read, Dean Sandler's 12 Tasks of Manhood. This is what his parents had written to him. You're entering manhood. Your teen years might be had with a lot of changes and in preparation for becoming a man, we prayed and came up with a list of 12 tasks which you are to accomplish before your next birthday so you could become a man. Some could challenge you to grow into your spiritual life as a Christian. Some could challenge you physically, others mentally. It appears Dean asked for it all. He wanted to become a man. He has to accomplish the 12 tasks of manhood, each specially crafted to test and build courage and endurance. These were Dean's tasks of manhood. To run 30 miles in 30 days. To memorize the book of Colossians. To camp out in the forest alone. To read six books provided to him in a reading list. To play a round of golf with his father. To do a Bible study on Daniel. To spend three days with the Njogu family on their farm near Nakuru. To climb the top of Fisher's Tower in Hell's Gate. To prepare and serve a complete meal for four at his own restaurant. To attend a soccer camp and sharpen his soccer skills to climb to Point Lenana on top of Mount Kenya, to eat a giant, all the meat you can eat at the carnival restaurant in Nairobi. Ah, <sighs> Sounds interesting, doesn't it? We stopped off at Mama Dodi's hotel for some chai and mandazi. As we soaked the square donuts in our chai, a young boy with a torn pair of shorts poked his head around the door. He walked over and handed me a folded piece of paper. I opened it. It read, Meet me at 2 p.m. at the waterfalls. It was signed by Kamau. What do you think of this note? I asked the others as we walked home. Sounds mysterious, Mato said. We should go to the waterfalls and find out. That afternoon, we hiked to the falls and sat on the mist slick rocks and waited. The appointed hour 2 p.m. came and went. 
I'm going swimming, said Mato, slipping his shirt and shorts off and wearing only his underwear, jumping into the pool under the falls. We joined him, splashing and yelling. Well, as a result of the exposure to other people's culture, Dean has handed himself a list of challenging activities which will build and enlighten him. Some of the tasks he accomplished by himself, others in the company of his father and others alongside the Rhino Club members. The climb at Hell's Gate into Mount Kenya was done alongside the Rhino Club members, but Kamau was missing in the latter since he had gone for the circumcision ritual to mark his transition to manhood. By the 13th birthday, Dean was through with all the tasks and he celebrated the victory! The day we come back, I've got an invitation to a celebration for all the newly circumcised boys. My parents hadn't heard about it, but they said I could go. I was a man now, so I went. Interesting cultural differences, don't you think? What would be your task to manhood?